Medina. Situated in central Malta, Medina is without question historic Malta at its most photogenic. The citadel of Medina was fortified from as long ago as 1000 BC when the Phoenicians built a protective wall here. The Romans later built a large town and it was given its present name, meaning walled city, when the Arabs arrived in the 9th century. The hidden byways of Medina offer exquisite architectural detail and from its massive walls you can admire Malta from a distance. If you fancy a lunch here, there are lots of cozy restaurants to choose from. However, the price is moderately higher than other parts of Malta. Medina glass and typical Maltese paintings are definitely worth seeing. And it's easy to appreciate the town's loveliness when you see the Karatsin, a traditional horse-drawn carriage with seats for four passengers that has been in use in Malta since 1856. With a coastline of 43 kilometers, Gozo is the second largest island of the Maltese archipelago. Gozo's history is entwined with the history of its sister island Malta. As a result, Gozo shares the same cultural influences brought to the Maltese islands by multiple occupations. Ungar is Gozo's main harbor and the point of arrival for ferries from Malta. Gozo Channel Line is the name of the ferry company that takes you from one harbour to the other. 